Ajahn evolved into a project about becoming a king, training to accept the responsibility of the power I inherited. Random Acts Program 2, the pirate program, is titled The Parable of the Pirate and the King. So in episode six, Naja is a king. I would say generally the king's dilemma is how to wield power responsibly. Given that most of our reference points for observing people with power are toxic. Ajahn learns that the only way to hold power responsibly is through rituals that put her in touch with power that is beyond the body. Mm -hmm. In Naja's case, the power that she has is spiritual power. She's being initiated into certain ways of being that offer her spiritual power, power of connection that everybody doesn't have. Ajahn uses ritual to strengthen her multi-generational relationships with the land and in the strength of her people. Just a lot going on ancestrally with this lady, you know what I mean? <laughs> being a person from a bourgeois family in a colonial context with a history of subjugation, a history of enslavement. These are not your people, these are slave masters. And also a history on her father's side that she didn't know about. And the question being, how does she organize herself in recognition of having and possessing all of these powers? She's also in observation of what it is like as a king to be in connection with a pirate and what the utility of that is, what the usefulness of that interaction could be, you know, why she chose it in this lifetime. That's what she's up to in episode six, the sixth dimension, 